the gasoline station. And I'd, I'd move that we drop that. Any other? I'd like yeah. to do something with that lot, but I think. I'll second that. Yeah. All those in favor? Unanimous. Capital fund for the turnout gear. Yes. yes. I move that we go ahead uh, with that. Second. I'll. Question? No. All those in favor? Yeah. Unanimous. Uh, town meeting warrant articles, the uh, Health and human, human service services. agencies, I'll move to put that forward. Second. Second. All those in favor? Unanimous. Reevaluation of the property. Sa same thing, move to put it on the warrant. I'll second, second. that too. All right. Yeah. Recreation infrastructure special revenue fund. Not this one. Now, um, what, um, what do they have in the, f oh, the withdrawal of 150000 for it. Yeah. I wonder what. There'll be no. Um, no tax impact? No, there's no tax impact on this. Um, they've oh. asked for an additional sum yeah, so yeah. of 20 some thousand dollars, which is in fact in the account. So we have the money. 24750 right. for tree removal. They got a price in today. Yeah. Yeah. So 174750 Right. I'll, I'll move that forward. So you want to amend it to the 174750 yeah. yeah. And I also, you know. What's the total in the fund right now, Fred? Do we know? One hundred eighty-one thousand dollars. Oh, okay. So we're kind of squeaking, but yeah. So we have a motion to yeah. amend it. Yeah. Is there okay. a second? A second. Yeah. Motion to approve it as amended. Yeah. Unanimous. Annual town meeting. It. Yeah, we're going to need to do that. I'll move that we put it on as is, unless there's a change. Well, there may be a change for it to come down a little. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. But as it is right now, we'll, we'll approve it as is. Yeah. From the unassigned fund balance. From the unassigned yes. fund balance. Yes. We got a right. motion? Yes. yes. Second. All those in favor? Yes. Unanimous. Yes. And the police forfeiture special revenue fund, that, that has no tax impact. I'll move. No. Move second by Jim. Forward. All those in favor? Yeah. Unanimous. Electronic <laughs> yeah, formatting. We need, we need to follow through with this because we started it last year or in 2018, and I, I would say move it forward. Second? I would second that, yes. All those in favor? Unanimous. Cemetery tree removal. And That's this from the cemetery of, funds. Yes. This will I, come out of the cemetery. I'll move that we put that forward. That's going to be, that's not, uh, no tax impact. Which Correct. Is second by Jim. All those in favor? Yeah. Unanimous. Purchase a load of tractor. Same thing in the uh, trust fund. Right. Uh, no tax impact. I'll yep. move to put that forward. A second. I will second it. All those in favor? Unanimous. Same Complete thing the cemetery for the cemetery building. cemetery building, as long as it comes out of that trust fund. All right, fund. Jim seconds. All those in favor? Yeah. Unanimous. Uh, we need to make the adjustment for Jay on the 20000 on the land acquisition fund, so we, we hold We're holding that hold one on until that. we talk to him. Right. Yep. I just want, can I say something about the cemeteries? Because at the budget committee meeting, there was sort of Beat the, up. Yeah. And uh, we all know what happened with the cemeteries. And the cemetery trustees actually came and approached yeah. us to help them out a little bit with some things they had going on. Yeah. And that's what they've been doing, working with the Board of Selectmen and Town Management and trying to figure out a way that we can get everything mm -hmm. back into shape over there. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're attempting to do. And that's why everyone's going to see a huge increase in the budget and these additional warrant articles mm -hmm. because it's very important that we uh, Get done. keep those grounds up to you know. Right. It's also good. a personnel matter, so that's why it's. Yes. So. Right. Right. Exactly. Right. Right. I, I just want to back up what Regina yeah. said. You know that it's, it's absolutely necessary. There's been a lot of neglect, and right. it's an area that can't be neglected. Right? That's right. right. Exactly. Yep. I mean, let, let's be let's be yeah. honest about it. And and frankly, folks. Um, the cemetery trustees and the section could probably use some guidance. I don't know who the they have been getting guidance, they, and that's they, they which is they, which is why they're where they're they at look now. Kind of scared. Well, they but, they've got a lot going yeah. on. Yeah, I know. I okay. Mean, they, they as long as we're working with them, that's a good idea. Yeah, definitely. So we have them uh, for the inside front doors. I'll make uh, that motion. Yeah, I'll second. We need to do that. All those in favor. Unanimous. Too bad we didn't do it last year, the whole thing. The Naval Committee Fund. $10,000 to have a Naval Committee Fund. For what? For the USS the Virginia? Or is this a separate fund from the USS Hampton? I it, it's it's, it's going to be all the same thing. Cool. Whenever, so whenever, whenever they need something, 
that it'll come out of that fund. So we're not calling it the USS Hampton okay. or the USS Virginia. It is a naval fund okay. to act as a host community for the shipyard when they ask us. Do we have a fund now for the USS Hampton? No. No. Okay, so we, so, we, so we don't have to incorporate anything. Correct. That's so correct. this will be just motion. whatever submarine we adopt. Correct. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so motion by okay. Regina. I'll second. All those in favor? Unanimous. Okay. <laughs> fund 21 balance to the unassigned fund. Fred, you want to explain yes, this one? Yes, I'll vote for that, definitely. Okay. I'll, I'll move that one onto the warrant. Fred? Uh, fund 21 was... Uh, you're all familiar with the current fund that we have for the Recreation Department. Mm -hmm. That was for improvements in the Beach District. And uh, there's $41,616.19 remaining. We attempted to take that and finish up some of the additional street lighting down there last year. The town voted it down. So we're asking these funds that have been sitting around now for yeah. six or seven years to yeah. be put into... Uh, the un unassigned fund balance to be used to uh, lower taxes. Yeah, excellent. So, yeah, I'll make the motion. Motion second. All those in favor? Unanimous. Paid police detail cost. So this is just to... Uh, We're catching up. Uh, uh, inflation has uh, ruined our margin here a little bit. So we're increasing it from 30% to 50%. Some These are funds that, that uh, are paid by, not by the town, but by others who hire our police officers, and these pay for those, fun, for those uh, costs that we incur when they're hired, for instance, retirement yeah. allowance and yeah. so forth. So pay for yeah. our sick leave and I'll make vacation. That motion, motion second. second. All those in favor? Unanimous. This is revenue, Fred, right? The real, That's correct. Re repeal of the false I'll alarm fees. I'll this move that we put it on as is. I'll second. All those in favor? Unanimous. Veterans tax credit. Go from 500 to 750. I'll make that motion. I'll second. Second. Okay. second. All those in favor? Unanimous. Change veterans service connected disability. Uh, and that, that is vote to increase the amount of the veterans credit mm -hmm. from 2,000 to 4,000 in accordance with the chapter of the law that passed this year. Mm -hmm. I'll make that motion. I'll second. All those in favor? I'm going to oppose. I think we're doing too much too fast here. It's all done by state law. State law said they could do this now, right? Yes. Right? Yep. It didn't say you have to do it. They said you're allowed to do it, right? No, it hasn't changed in like 25 years. Yeah. So that's so why they finally put one through to yes. increase it. To increase it. We so have we people. We have a few people who have this exemption, but they've had the same exemption for as long as they. Oh, it already exists. Okay, yes. that wasn't right. clear to yeah. me. Thank you. It's Sorry about increasing that. Increasing so the amount. It's increasing the yes. amount from two thousand to four thousand. Got you. Okay. So are you approving that now? Are yes. You, okay. So okay. unanimous. Optional tax credit for combat service. This is a brand new statute. It hasn't been there before. Uh, if we have National Guard or Army Reserve or military reserve forces that live in town and they're called a combat service, called up by the federal government, we can give them a $500 combat service exemption in their property taxes. Oh while they're in I'll second all those in favor? Unanimous. The no smoking ordinance. Oh, Fred did a great job on that. I really like that one. No, so smoke, the smoke is wrong. But I'm happy to move it forward. Second? Mm -hmm. Is there a second to move it forward? He gave us a copy a couple of weeks ago. Oh, yeah. You know, I didn't. I didn't read this. <laughs> oh. Do you want to? Uh, well, we can hold I, it till left. But I think a uh, great job. Can, we'll hold, can hold. you summarize it, Fred? Don't smoke on town beaches. <laughs> That's the summarization. The same thing we talked about last year. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll second it. All right. All those in favor? Opposed. It also Extension. includes public parks, cemeteries, commons. Yeah. Three zero and one. Yeah. It's very good, very well done. Firefighter Safer Grant? Uh, no, I have a question, or a, a, I guess a little problem here. I don't want to see both of these warrant articles on there. I want to see one or the other. And since the Firefighter Safer Grant has money coming in, I would rather go ahead with that article to fund four, firefighter, four new firefighter positions for the next three years. I don't want to put the higher four new firefighters in. I think it's overdoing it. 
and I think it will tend to make people shy away. I would rather just see the one with the grant on this year. If it doesn't pass, then next year we could try. As it says at the bottom of the next article, it says the four firefighter positions in this article are the same as the previous article and are not addition to it. If the previous article right. passes, right. this article is null and void. Well, that's true. So, just, so what it's saying that is if yeah. if the first if the safer if grant the grant passes grant doesn't, the other one yeah. okay. So Cal is dead. So we have a motion on the safer grant? Yeah, I'll make a motion on that. Second. All those in I'll favor? Say, yeah. Unanimous. The next one the high of the firefighters. Okay, so where it has that stipulation. Correct. I, I will go with motion. that. I'll so move. Second. I'll second it. Okay. I'm just unsure about we've got to have more firefighters. I know I agree, but I also want it. I mean, it's just it seems like we're putting it more to chance having them both in there because some people are going to see firefighters two hundred and ninety-five thousand, then they're going to turn the yeah, page I know. and see firefighters two hundred and ninety-five thousand and get upset and say no. But, but again, it's got it at the bottom. So what it, what it's going to do is is if if the safer grant fails, it still gives you the option to have those. And I just it, maybe we got to tell the firefighters that they need to do something to make sure that people know that because as much as I say it or we say it here, there's going to be people that don't yeah. watch the meetings yeah. and they're going to go in and mm -hmm. I'm just scared they're both going to get voted down yeah, because they're going to say that, that, can, that I, I think we should move it forward but they got to get out there and, yeah, and talk about it. Sell it like they would with their contracts, you know, like mm -hmm. explain it to mm -hmm. them. They're out there all the time in the public. Yeah. I, I have a question for Mark. Can we put in capital letters, are you allowed to use capital letters in the warrant articles so that we could put all in caps if the previous article passes, this article will they be They could put known. it all in bold. Could we? I, I think you could put that language bolded so that bolded uh, would it would highlight the If facts. it would jump right out. Yeah. At bolded people. would would allow that to do that. Right? Yeah. Bolded. 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 Yeah. bolded. yeah. I would like to, if we, yeah, because it, it is, you're kind of between a rock and a hard place, but maybe that would make you jump out to people. Sure. Okay. And the last one we have is the code enforcement officer. Can you take the vote on that one? Oh. Yeah, okay, I'll, so the, I'll move that with the The second caps firefighter one. In it. Yeah. Okay. Second. All those in favor? Yeah. Unanimous. Okay. On the code enforcement officer, I'm going to beg, please. We've got to have enforcement in this town. Planning board is certainly not going to do it. But I would, st I would strike the um, singular and put code enforcement officers plural to part time with no benefits. I don't want to see us creating another position that's got benefits and. Uh, People are a little upset over salaries anyway. So I would move that we change the wording to plural uh, to instruct to appoint two or, or to appoint code enforcement officers who blah, blah, blah will be responsible. And then the um, sum, uh, I think, needs to be recalculated because I don't want, I do not want to see a full-time position with benefits. Is there a second for that? And that way, Kevin could train them together, you know, get a couple of retired gentlemen or something, and well, if one's we've, sick, we've the other We've also tried to do that with some of the other positions, and we've gone unfilled for so long because well, we can't get part-time people, but so. Let's, let's try, well, I'd rather try it here than lose it. Is there a, a second? I think that, I don't know if I'm ready to second it right now. I think I'd rather see what it would be if we were to decide to do two part-timers compared to doing a full-time. Right now we have about 71,000 for a full-time. So I'm not gonna second or agree Can to anything tonight. Can we ask for figures for our final review? Because I think the other thing we need to consider is what's gonna happen, one, I mean, you know when we get a building code enforcement officer, everyone is gonna be calling Absolutely. All, all the time. Absolutely. Yeah. And what if, like, is it going to be... it's not just building enforcement. It's right, health, it's health, yes. everything. Yes. Everything. Like, is it going to be, like, the animal control officer? Like, are they going to have hours? 
I don't know. I feel like we need more input from well, whoever it would be to talk to, whether it's Kevin or... If you have two people, Kevin can train them, and then they can shift uh, whatever hours they need to have. I the, think most, the most they can work if they're former municipal employees yeah. and trained yeah. would be 16 hours a week. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, I'm not necessarily saying we're going to get just former... Well, you know, well that's probably what you're looking for because they've got to be trained in the codes and so well, forth. Well, that's true. Jim? Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I mean, either way, I'm going to vote against this tonight. I just, I, I think we need a code enforcement officer, but I, I just don't, I just don't think this year's the year to do it. I think we got tons of warrant articles here. There are a lot of money. In, uh, yeah. Uh, well, we're losing though. I'm not having enforcement. We really are. We're in trouble. I, I, we are. I, I'm not going to vote for it. Just do you want to hold money. temporarily? You want to hold this until we can give back some figures? Yeah, yeah that's that. fine. All right, we can do okay. that. That was the last one, right? Yeah. That's it. I think so. Gee, so we're we're now. You we only have out. a couple, three that <laughs> we need to come back again for.